Good morning. This is the Velco Weather Hazards Outlook. This will be valid the rest of today, Tuesday, the last day of September through next Monday, the 6th day of October. Not a whole lot going on in the northeast United States. We do have some precipitation along the coastal areas here and also a storm system spinning away in the eastern Great Lakes producing a band of showers and a few thunderstorms mixed in as well. Uh, areas that were clear overnight were basically just foggy. We have a lot of low clouds that will eventually break apart and allow for some sunshine, so a better afternoon to be expected. We are stuck in between two weather systems. This uh, plume of moisture off the coast, associated area of low pressure northwest of Bermuda that was almost a tropical depression. And uh, the main weather systems to watch, however, will be off to the uh, west of us. Uh, this this little storm system or a plume of moisture will eventually swing in and produce a little bit of precipitation. I'll be showing you that uh, in a second here. But uh, areas of uh, southeastern Massachusetts, coastal eastern New England, they've been a little bit on the rainy side or showery side. Just as the uh, Atlantic uh, hurricane basin has been very, very inactive, uh, the uh, western coast of Mexico has been very active. And we have Tropical Storm Rachel and yet another depression uh, expected to form. Uh, this is uh, another system that will eventually de develop and move up uh, potentially into Baja, California. All speculation at this point, but uh, it continues to be fairly active here in the tropics, but not so much in the Atlantic. There's one little system to watch. This is an area of low pressure northwest of Bermuda. It doesn't look like it's going to be any problem for us, however. So no concerns really for utilities right through next Monday, October the 6th. And this is the two weather systems really straddling one to the east with a plume of moisture. This is forecast through most of today, Tuesday. And then we have this area of low pressure in the eastern Great Lakes. It's spinning up uh, an area of thunderstorms currently, but they're forecast to die out and then redevelop in the form of showers generally across parts of Pennsylvania and western New York. This uh, will not make it here anytime soon. However, this weather system here will spin up and probably produce a little bit of shower activity, which I'll show you here in a second. And this is the latest uh, European model showing some precipitation, uh, as you can see here. I'll stop it here. This would be valid for tonight. A little bit of shower activity, also the business off the coast. However, it doesn't look like it's really going to be a big factor. We have the big area of higher pressure off to the north, as well as some colder temperatures. And that's going to try to keep this thing at bay. However, just a little bit of it sneaks in during the afternoon, as you can see right here, across uh, parts of southeastern Vermont, parts of eastern New England. This is uh, not forecast to be a very big deal, however, and uh, it's out of here, it looks like, uh, by uh, the uh, nighttime tomorrow night. When we get into Thursday, a couple isolated showers potential, but really some pretty good project weather, I'm thinking. And then we get into Friday, good project weather as well as a ridge of higher pressure uh, juts back from uh, the Canadian Maritimes. Again, we're in between weather systems, and that's kind of been the case. However, here comes our system. This is going to be developing and arriving for us on Saturday. It taps a fairly good subtropical plume of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic Ocean. Some pretty good winds out ahead of it from the south, but not uh, strong enough to be any problems or any concerns at this point in time. Maybe some gusty winds for the uh, uh, greater Champlain Valley, parts of western Vermont. May see gusts is 25 to 30, 35 miles per hour, about it. But the rain moves in on Saturday afternoon. It lingers, an area of low pressure then develops along it. You can see a little bit heavier rainfall here, and then uh, it begins to move off uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. And we're left with a few leftover showers coming in off the Great Lakes, some blustery conditions behind that as conditions cool. The next weather system to develop looks like along about uh, late Monday night or more like Tuesday uh, next week. And that looks like it also does give us a shot of rainfall and maybe some stronger gusty winds out ahead of that, some southerly winds that uh, something we'll have to keep a close eye on. Eye on. But that's going to be just a little bit further down the road, it looks like, next Tuesday. And here's the NSEP uh, weekly forecast of accumulated precipitation valid through uh, next Tuesday morning. And uh, roughly, we're looking at a, roughly around one inch. Uh, be the most rainfall we've seen in quite some time. And this is the um, last couple of months uh, departure from normal in terms of precipitation. We're kind of hurting. Uh, running about four to six inches below normal in the red here, a large area of southern parts of New York as well as even southern New England where they have had some rainfall. But you can see Washington County, Caledonia, as well as up and around Franklin County. 
The rest of the state pretty much in that minus three to minus four category. Of course, Bennington County also four to six inches uh, for the last couple of months. So we're kind of hurting on rainfall, and uh, that has been the case, and I don't see any real great changes, despite the fact we may gain an inch with this uh, next uh, uh, band of showers and uh, rain that might move in on Saturday. And switching from rain to uh, temperatures here, this is uh, the anomalous uh, temperatures. You can see it in red is above normal and the green below normal. We're going to stay for a large extended period, roughly a little bit above normal, if not a much above normal. You can see a pretty good plume of uh, above normal anomalies uh, across uh, parts of eastern Canada. And then lo and behold, we see a cold shot of air move into the eastern U.S., but it really tries to wash out or moderate rather rapidly. And so by it, the time it does, next Monday, we're looking at temperatures just running about five degrees below seasonal norms with uh, a large area of above normal temperatures uh, surrounding it. Temperature anomalies uh, forecast uh, through Sunday night are a little bit above normal with near normal temperatures, a little bit of a cool down taking place there. And then our uh, next look here is uh, uh, running about uh, three to seven days out, and this is valid through next uh, Tuesday night. And those above normal temperatures work into the Canadian Maritimes, near normal to the west, and then below normal, a little swap here of cooler air. But again, this gradually moderates. Big area of above normal temperatures develop back out over the west. Here's the uh, daily ups and downs, the diurnal ranges in temperature from the Iowa State uh, Meteogram Generator. And uh, this is the forecast high running basically in the 65 to 70 degree range. Nighttime lows, nothing real significant there. We do cool down as we get into the uh, weekend here where temperatures are back into that 35 to 40 degree realm. But that's a long ways out and we're looking at temperatures generally uh, pretty moderate and if anything a little bit above normal as we just saw. Switching to the tropics, uh, this is Invest 97L, this is the floater, this is Bermuda, this is out in the uh, Atlantic Ocean, and this is that circulation which is just basically an area of low pressure. It was deemed as a depression for a time. They determined it was extratropical and off she goes. A little bit of thunderstorm formation on its eastern flank, nothing to worry about for us, no concerns for utilities. As a look at the uh, GFS Ensemble, as you can see, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, I would take this out of the equation here. It's pretty much trace amounts. But our next shot looks like after around the 4th or into the 5th of October, this coming weekend with that uh, next band of uh, rain or rain shower activity and tropical-like rain is a possibility. Otherwise, no concerns for utilities. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights Consulting.